Hello, everybody. Um, I, this morning, was asked to make a craft, to do a craft activity. So I came up with this idea um, to make some funky sort of bags. When I was a little girl, I used to play for hours and hours with just bits of paper. My mum actually, um, she once said that I constructed a whole house out of a bit of paper, which I can't remember, but um, I found that quite exciting. So anyway, this is um, what I'm going to do with you today. I am going to make um, this little bag like this. This is actually a bigger one, but here we go. It's quite funky. It's using a lot of different things, lots of recycled stuff. So here we go. Right, let's get that one out of the way. Oh, I'll show you what to do. Look, open it, goes like that. I've got my glasses in there, better put them on. Right, and then I can seal it back up just like that. Now, what you're going to need, that's a bigger one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a smaller one, mainly because I've got much space in here today, but you can do a big one. But anyway, you can fold this over, just a normal bit of paper like that. Fold it over, easy peasy, right? And then fold it again, but not in half this time. Leave me a bit of space there, if you see what I mean. So you've got another fold, you can fold that down just like that. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to need to do is to seal this bit up. Use, oh, I don't know, sellotape. That's going to do. Sellotape there. If you haven't got sellotape, you might have glue stick. You might have staples. Some people like to use staples. If you haven't got it, don't worry. Most places have got sellotape, so you could use that. Right, here we go. So you can see it's ready, except it needs, you know, one of those little flat things, one of those fasteners. Um, I'm going to use card. You can use paper. If you haven't got actual card, I'll tell you what's really good is um, if you've got cereal, you the box is really good. You can use the back of it. I used that quite a lot when I was little because we didn't have any, uh, it wasn't so easy to buy things in the olden days. Right. Here we go. Stick it on. Bit card, just like that. And then use another little bit just to stick it. Not, don't stick right over it. Just put a little bit of tape there. Keep it down nicely, just like that. Cool. So let's check it works a minute. Right, so there it is. Really simple idea. Also, what you could do if you wanted to, is you could make the edges nice and round only if you want to, just like that. Up to you, your design. You're an actual designer now, so it really is up to you. Now, done, except we all know it's not done, is it? Because it looks really, 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 really boring. So um, let's jazz it up a bit. Here's another one I was starting. Right, what I was doing, I was kind of messing around. I didn't have any color paper because I forgot to order some. So I went in the kitchen and I peeled off bits and bobs like this. You can see on the tin there, it's used so we could use the, the wrapper to make some designs. You can see, oh, and I see what I've just done. See, put all water over it. Good job I washed it though. So there we are, right? That's what I want you to do is cut out little bits just like this and stick them on, building up a pattern as you go, just like this. Just building up your pattern as you go. And then using felt pen to make as many patterns as you can. What's that? What? Uh oh, look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> I love a tomato when I'm working. So, apart from the mess I managed to create, I'm trying to look for a cloth. I don't have one though. Never mind. Right. So you build a pattern after pattern after pattern. Um, use your recycled bits. Cut shapes out. I really, really, really love the colour that I find here. Beautiful, beautiful. Ultramarine blue. Fantastic. Cut some shapes out. You might just want to do strips, zigzags, circles, and do a heart. I like a lot of heart. Here we are. I'm going to stick that one down. A little tip though, if you're using sellotape to stick things down, do your drawing first of all, before. So there we are. That's one. But yours is going to look a bit better. A bit, bit, bit better than mine. A bit more full. Lots and lots of different patterns. Lots of different colour. That kind of thing. 
I'll just place it down below so you can see it. Anyway, I hope you like it. Send us back your, your results. Send us things that you've made. I really want to see them. That would be fab. Ta-ra! See you later.